In this video, I will explain the two different interpretations of OR, inclusive versus exclusive OR, and explain how we are going to translate explicit exclusive OR statements. So there are two possible readings of statements containing the word OR. The OR can either be read inclusively or exclusively. So for example, the statement, you may get either a puppy or a guppy. So the inclusive reading of this statement would be that you may get a puppy or you may get a guppy or you can get both. Whereas the exclusive reading says you may get a puppy or you may get a guppy, but you can't get both. So in logic, we always treat or as inclusive. So if you see the statement P or Q, um, you will always give it the inclusive reading. Um, so the statement, you may either get a puppy or a guppy in logic will mean you may either get a puppy or you may get a guppy or you could get both. If we need to give a statement an exclusive reading, we can always do so by tacking the phrase, but not both, onto the end of the statement. So for example, P or Q, but not both. You may get a puppy or a guppy, but not both. This then will be symbolized as parenthesis P wedge Q, close parenthesis, ampersand, it's false that P and Q. So that symbolizes the, so the first part, the P wedge Q symbolizes the or statement, right? The P or Q. And then the ampersand is the but, right? Because but is a synonym for and. And then we have the not both. So not both P and Q. And we do that exactly how we would do not both. Um, we have already learned how to deal with that. Um, so you, not both P and Q is saying, it's false that you can have both P and Q. So negation, close parenthesis, P ampersand Q, end parenthesis. So whenever you see a statement of the form P or Q, but not both. That is an explicit exclusive or, and we're gonna translate it exactly as we have here. We're gonna translate it as parenthesis P wedge Q, close parenthesis, and negation parenthesis P ampersand Q, close parenthesis. 